So label reading, always, no exceptions. Um, just to give you a sense of why, you know, Trader Joe's is two different chicken broths. One is free range organic, the other is um, just free range, and one of them contains barley malt, and the other one doesn't. So things where you so very easily could you know, say to a spouse or significant other and you know, just miss one word in the label and end up with the wrong thing. So that's why um, it's so important to check and so important to check every time um, because not only that, I mean, labels change. And often they change to become gluten-free, but there are labels that go the other way around. So label reading, essential every single time. There are some um, resources that can make label reading easier. One of them is the Celiac Sprue Association Guide. And this is a nice long list of different foods that are gluten-free with manufacturing statements. Another one, which is cute and little, is the Triumph Dining Guide, um, which also has, has similar information. The statements for different companies are, are more extensive in the Celex Brew one, but both of them have information both in, on um, what the ingredient labels say and also what manufacturers declare. And nowadays, you know, there's an app for that. Zier.com gives ingredients but doesn't give any information on cross-contamination. So as we're talking about label reading, we're going to run through a few labels, and you have those in your packet. Um, and so I want you to take a look at them and get a sense of what ingredients you may question, which ones contain gluten. So the first one is light ranch dressing. So as you take a look, what kind of words do you notice? Let's see, there's vinegar, but it's distilled vinegar. Um, so that should be gluten-free. There's maltodextrin. And as we look, it doesn't say wheat, and it doesn't have a statement at the bottom saying contains wheat. There's modified food starch, and again, if, it's, if it said wheat or contains wheat at the bottom, that would be a problem, but it doesn't. And there's monosodium glutamate, which also um, could contain wheat, but in, in doesn't say it, so now with our, our laws now, it doesn't. There's natural flavor, to, to double check and be sure, you know, I checked in the handy guide, and indeed, it is listed as gluten-free. You can also, you know, check on websites or call manufacturers to double check on things like natural flavor. So even though there are lots of things here that you might question, it actually is a gluten. It's a product that doesn't have gluten as, the, as any one of the ingredients. So looking at another one, long grain and wild rice blend. And so as we look through the different ingredients, what words do you notice? One of the things in it, it says, hydrolyzed corn, soy, wheat protein. So the nice thing is, you know, that even though it does contain wheat, it is listed, according to the law, very clearly. Um, sometimes people are surprised there also isn't the contain statement at the bottom because they don't have to have it both in the label and on the bottom. Um, but it does clearly say that it has wheat. Ginger spice tea, which sounds wonderful on a day that's starting to get it cool like this. And yet, if you look at the side, one of the ingredients is actually roasted barley. And this comes as a surprise to a lot of people, thinking that you know tea should be tea leaves, and tea leaves are gluten-free. Um, some kinds of tea contain barley in them. Um, Celestine Seasoning actually labels for gluten, and they, that's one of the things that that company declares, that they will always label for gluten. Many other companies won't. So even with things like tea that seem pretty, pretty safe, you still need to double check. So we have frosting. Betty Crocker, rich and creamy. And this was one of the things that one of my clients brought in. The ingredient that she had questions about was the high maltase corn syrup. Because usually, if you see the word malt or malt flavoring, anything along those lines, you want to question because malt is usually barley malt. But yet, in this case, it says, uh, it says the, the maltase, but then it says corn syrup. And so because it says corn syrup, you know that it's, it doesn't have gluten because it, the maltase is from corn. Part of the reason that I included this in this, in this talk is because there's some people who talk about how a gluten-free diet is so healthy for you and it's just like gluten-free foods are exalted and it's so much healthier and you'll feel so much better. Gluten-free doesn't necessarily mean good for you. Um, you know, gluten-free foods can still be loaded with sugar and all sorts of preservatives and all sorts of other things that may not be in your best interest or may not be balanced overall. So going gluten-free is one piece, but you also you know, need to be healthy for the rest of your life. And so gluten-free, but looking at the healthier, healthier piece as well. So while this doesn't contain any gluten-containing ingredients, you know, keeping that in the back of your head as, as we're hearing and keeping that in mind makes a lot of sense.